When you get red eyes or mm -hmm. even pink eyes, sometimes the question is, is it an infection? Is it something, something different? Else. So That's how do you know as a mom? It's really important because conjunctivitis or pink eye is pretty common. About 10% of kids will get that throughout their, their childhood. So, but if it's, you know, just because they have goop in their eye doesn't mean it's an infection. A lot of times kids will just have something like this, basically morning mucus, eye boogers, or there's a medical term for it, room. Basically it's kind of uh, solidified tears that have been there overnight. They get all mucusy, a little bit crusty maybe. And uh, one of the keys to this is you see there's no redness in the mm -hmm. eye, all right? And if you were to go and wipe this mucus away, it wouldn't come back until the next day, okay. the next morning. And that's, those are the two keys to, to know it's just eye boogers. Now, if it's pink eye or an infection, you see you're gonna have a lot more goop. It's gonna be a little thicker, and it's often yellow or greenish, and there's, uh, there's obviously the redness, a little bit of redness in the whites of their eye, and then you go to wipe away this goop, an hour later, it's back. That's mm -hmm. the sign that it's conjunctivitis, time to see the, eye, the doctor. And I always tell my parents, too, that it looks kind of like tapioca or vanilla pudding, the discharge that you get, but, you know, it's really, really contagious, and that's the main takeaway point from this. Yeah. In fact, if I see one child in my practice, usually several of their classmates will come in also oh, yeah. with an eye infection, and then their parents get it, and sometimes even their pets get it. Mm -hmm. So if you suspect that your child has an eye infection, keep them home from school so they don't spread it to everybody. Biggest thing, yeah. And then a couple of tips to minimize um, getting a bacterial conjunctivitis is um, teach your children not to wipe their eyes after they wipe their nose. Mm -hmm. Do you see your kids oh, yeah. doing that? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, because I have a two-year-old, and he's always doing this, and then he yeah. rubs his eyes. Um, and wear swim goggles while you're swimming, so in case the pool is contaminated, you don't get an infection. And then if your doctor prescribes antibiotic drops for it, mm -hmm. make sure you take it for the full seven days, because mm -hmm. otherwise, if your eyes look great in two days, but you still have a little bit of bacteria left, It'll, it can come back. Yes, it yep. comes back stronger mm -hmm. and resistant to the antibiotic because uh, you didn't get rid of it all in the first yeah. place. And while it's yeah. getting better, a nice warm compress to the eye can help ease the swelling and get rid of some mm -hmm. of that, that mucus. Mm -hmm. And contacts are so common nowadays. Would you not agree, this eye and the very first one over there where there's a lot of the redness, that whether it's from irritation or other things, be a good time to take a break from your contacts, uh, use point. your glasses, because yeah. I've seen people who will have this type of picture clinically and they're still wearing their contacts because they don't yeah. like how they look in their glasses, right. but you've got to take the contacts out because all you're going to do is when you put them back in after this, reinfect yourself. And you know what? If your eye's red, but just red in one area instead of the whole eye, then it could indicate a whole host of other problems. Mm -hmm. There's something called episcleritis which could mean that you have rheumatoid arthritis. So you have red eyes, but you really have rheumatoid arthritis. Or you could have lupus, and in women it could mean hormonal changes or even irritable bowel syndrome.